Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Firstly, wishing everyone a happy and a successful new decade and 2020. So it's this time of the year where I have filmed the upcoming car launches in this year for India. And again, I'm back with a list of all the confirmed new car launches for 2020. So let's just start off without wasting time. And we are going to start off with uh, Mercedes. So we have two launches. Particularly, both are SUVs, starting off with the GLE, and this is an all-new version. And for the first time in India, they are launching a long wheelbase variant. And uh, I believe this is the first time internationally also, also GLE is available, uh, will be available as a long wheelbase. And uh, definitely, it is going to taste success in India. The next up is the GLS, again an all-new version. It is positioned opposite the BMW X7. Next up is Tata. The, the Buzzard, which is now named the Gravitas, is going to be the Harrier's uh, seven-seat version, which they are going to launch uh, as the Gravitas. So this is probably, again, February 2020. A lot of things happening around February because of Auto Expo. So that is the Tata Gravitas for you. We do have the Tata Nexon uh, facelift. We do have a EV version of the Nexon as well. Then, uh, importantly, the very delayed Altros is finally going to launch. And uh, this should have been not delayed. And I believe 2019 is the year the Altros should have come. Really don't know the fate of Altros. It's a good looking car. It's a big effort by Tata to probably, you know, make it a premium, largish hatchback positioned, uh, you know, opposite the Bellino. So let's see. Let's see. H2X, which is uh, probably codenamed the Hornbill. I'm not sure whether that's named Hornbill or not yet. So the H2X version is uh, positioned under the Harrier. And uh, that should also launch uh, around mid-2020. If not the Auto Expo, Auto Expo, there should be some, uh, you know, uh, surprise by Tata by revealing it or something of that sort. But again, 2020 H2X is coming. Then we have a couple of launches from the Kia stable. Kia has uh, been a success story quite a bit in 2019 and 2020 seems to be, uh, you know, a couple of launches lined up for Kia. Starting off with the Grand Carnival. This is uh, not an all new version, but the current generation's facelift version is launching. And uh, so I really do not endorse this launch very much because I would have hoped uh, if Kia would have uh, you know, delayed and launched the all-new version of the Carnival, which is anyway spotted globally. I think it's South Korea. So that's something, but again, it's going to sell because Kia has done a good job in the Indian market. The brand has become strong. So Carnival is going to sell, but it's not the right thing to do by launching almost an obsolete product right now for India. The next up by Kia is the Hyundai Venues version of Kia. And I'm not sure what it's named or what it's called, but uh, definitely... This should be positioned under the Seltos, uh, much more affordable, slightly premium uh, Hyundai venue by Kia. After Kia, we are going to discuss uh, Mahindra. So, an all new Thar is lined up. So, it's the first time the Thar is getting a uh, completely factory finished uh, hardtop version. And I really predict a uh, good time for the off road enthusiast who are looking for, uh, looking to buy the Thar uh, this 2020. So finally the Thar will be much more livable now. Uh, XUV 500. So this is going to be uh, the second generation of XUV 500 uh, or the XUV 500 as some may say. And uh, already spotted testing since a uh, few months and uh, it should be ready for a launch this 2020. Not sure whether it will be showcased at the Auto Expo. But again, it 2020, definitely it will be launched. We do have another launch by Mahindra, which is uh, the all-new Scorpio. Let's talk about Hyundai. Hyundai have totally four launches uh, scheduled. We do have the all-new Creta, which is going to come. And uh, it should launch by Feb 2020, again at Auto Expo. Then there is a Hyundai Verna facelift. Then we have the Aura, which is nothing but the uh, all-new Accent. Next up and last uh, from Hyundai is the i20. It's an all new version and uh, they should be having a good amount of gizmos by Hyundai 
not really sure the, about the engines, but uh, I really hope they get uh, the the i20 gets the 1.5 diesel paired with an automatic. That should be a slightly different offering in the segment. So a diesel automatic hatchback, powerful one that too. So that should be interesting. So that was the i20 for you. Then we have to talk about uh, Ford. So the Ford Mustang, the facelift version with the 10 speed automatic gearbox, no manual still, unfortunately, was supposed to launch in 2019. I don't know why it was delayed, but I think you know Ford was in trouble and a lot of uh, activity happened with Mahindra and Mahindra and uh, the JV. JV is just a slightly fancy word to term it, but I think Ford sold off its stake to Mahindra. Uh, the part of its stake to Mahindra and uh, so maybe that was one of the reasons uh, we did not see much of offerings by Ford and uh, the Mustang 2020 it should be here. Alright, let's talk about BMW. Uh, two cars which I wanted to mention from the BMW are uh, the 8 series which is uh, the M850i which will be the V8 version as well as the M8 which will come. There will be the Grand Coupe versions also coming in. Uh, not really sure, but the 8 series is definitely going to come. Sad to see that deep inside it's actually a 6 series. It's just smart uh, branding by BMW calling the 6 series now the 8 series. You know, deep inside it is just a 6 series. Most enthusiasts would agree to that. Uh, next up is uh, the X6. So this is an all new version by BMW, the X6. Uh, surely uh, it's not as desirable as the original X6, but uh, it is launching, so we had to mention it. Let's talk about Audi now. Uh, there are four uh, launches by Audi uh, for 2020. Definitely last year, 2019 was BMW's year. Uh, we saw a good amount of launches by BMW. This time, Audi has uh, totally four launches, and uh, namely the Q3, which is an all-new version. The Q8, again, a complete new product. Then we have the all new A8 and then finally the Audi e-tron. Speaking about electric cars, the next up is a Porsche with the Taycan and uh, this is Porsche's first offering into the electric segment. Also with the new uh, German uh, EU trade norms coming in, there should be a possibility that the German cars will get slightly more affordable. So that was BMW, Audi and Porsche for you. So let's talk about the Japanese Honda. We have an all new 2020 Honda City lined up for launch this year. And it's definitely not going to launch at the Auto Expo. It may be just showcased at the Auto Expo and the launch will happen later in the year, mid 2020 or worse come worse, the festive season of 2020 we will see an all new version of the Honda City. Uh, the JLR stable, we have uh, to talk about four cars here, starting off with the Jaguar I-Pace. Yes, it's an electric. So the I-Pace is uh, a very, uh, you can say a successful car in uh, the European region. And uh, it's just surprising if they were anyway going to get a completely built unit why are they waiting for 2020? It should have been launched last year itself. However, it's going to come 2020. We have the Land Rover Evoque, which is an all new version and is slated for launch in this year. We have a Defender, which is again an all new version. And lastly, the Land Rover Discovery Sport. That will be a facelift coming in for 2020. So let's talk about a new entrant, which is Citroen. Having owned the Peugeot 309, which was a French car at that time, I really, I really do have a soft corner for Citroen uh, because it's again uh, a sister brand and it's sort of a re-entry for Peugeot in the Indian market with the help of uh, Citroen nomen nomenclature, Citroen brand. Uh, I genuinely hope and wish they do good because their products are really quirky and modern. At the same time, their designs are uh, uh, very attractive uh, to say so and they're very bold and uh, it's just that pricing is the key which I think uh, will be really critical for the C5 uh, Aircross when it launches in India later this year. So all the best to Citroen for that. 
let's discuss Skoda. So, a couple of models uh, from the Skoda stable. One is the Octavia, an all new version. Then, um, Skoda is going to bring up uh, the Karoq SUV. So, not really sure whether uh, how it will perform. Pricing again will be the key in this segment. Finally, let's talk about VW. However irrelevant VW has become nowadays, still it has a couple of launches lined up in 2020. Starting off with the VW uh, Tiguan All Space, which is the seven seat version. Then we do have the T Rock, which might be a CBU. And speaking of CBUs, VW might risk the all new version of the Golf uh, GTI. So let's just see if they uh, do that for the enthusiasts. And if they do, at what pricing? So that will be interesting. So this is it. These are the 30 confirmed new car launches from my side, which are bound to make it to India this year. Now, due to nationalistic reasons, I purposely left out mentioning the Chinese brands which are coming to India this year. And on that note, thanks for watching.